Hello and welcome to my channel. If you have stumbled across this video, that means you're an eco-friendly baddie, or you're trying to be more like one, or you're just a dedicated supporter and always watch any video that I put out. Either way, I love you, I appreciate you, and thank you for coming and watching this video because today's video is a very important one. I asked you on Instagram why you still shop fast fashion, and to my surprise, there was a lot of answers. Thank you all so much for participating. I appreciate it. I tried to read every single answer, but there was just so so many, but I did get through a big chunk. So I will be sharing the top five reasons why you all still shop fast fashion. And I will be showing you five thrifted outfits to help combat and counter those reasons. I really believe that in 2023, we have to start living a more ethical lifestyle if we're not doing so already. And trust me, I know where you're coming from when you feel like fast fashion is the only option. You're literally talking to the old queen of fast fashion. Been there, done that. $4 for a cute top, literally ate that up all the time. It was the only thing that could satisfy my fashion and styling crave on my $20 bank account budget. However, that old Nava Rose, she's dead. She's gone. And in 2023, I am committed to breaking up with fast fashion, so I will not be spending any of my money buying brand new from fast fashion websites this year. To make this possible, I have teamed up with my friends over at ThreadUp, who are the sponsors of today's video, and together we curated an anti-fast fashion shop. ThreadUp is one of the largest online thrift and resale platforms that believe in a sustainable fashion feature. And they make it really easy to do good for the planet and good for your bank account. In July, ThreadUp's confessional report found that 51% of college students say that they want to quit fast fashion or at least shop it less. I have styled some thrifted outfits in head-to-toe ThreadUp that I will be showing in my video. And to encourage you to join me in breaking up with fast fashion, ThreadUp has made it really easy to recreate my looks by letting you shop similar items to what I am wearing. And since Valentine's Day is coming up around the corner, these are also really good date outfit ideas in case you're looking for that. You can check out my ThreadUp shop using the link below. And if you have never shopped on ThreadUp before, now is the perfect chance because they're giving my followers an extra 35% off your first ThreadUp order if you use my code NAVA at checkout. By the way, I tried this new editing style. It might not look cute. I won't know until after I shoot this and after I'm editing it. So fingers crossed, but yeah, just enjoy this new editing style, I guess. Hello! We're gonna get cozy because there's a lot to say. There's only five reasons, but I have a lot to say for these five reasons. We're gonna start with the fifth reason and then work our way all the way to the number one reason why we all still shop fast fashion, all which were submitted by you. So let's start with number five, and that is local thrift stores are not good. They're expensive, there's not many physical stores out there, or there's no thrift culture at all in your area. And this is one of the exact reasons reasons why I love ThreadUp because they are one of the largest online thrift stores around. So if you are in the US or in Canada and your local area doesn't have a lot of good physical thrift shops, then you could just boop, boop, boop. If you need some Valentine's Day outfit, this is my favorite one because it is one of my aesthetics. I do love the coquette style and it's the perfect date night aesthetic. It's super cute and romantic. This outfit is head to toe in ThreadUp. So when you go on my ThreadUp shop, you can shop similar items just like the ones I'm wearing in this outfit. All right, so reason number four. Fast fashion sites have a lot of cute, trendy style and they have a lot of styles to choose from i get it they have such a wide variety they have a lot of dupes for high fashion style it's very diverse and you always want to stay on trend well you know what i have good news for you nothing is trending right now because everything in the fashion world is trending at the same time this very moment so you can have your 70s retros your 80s girlies your 90s grudge your 2000s y2k and your 2000s tens athletes leisure and then futuristic you could honestly wear whatever you want and you will be on track somewhere with some subculture group since a lot of what is in style right now are mainly from the past what better way to find these past archive pieces from past decades than to shop secondhand so if the wide variety of styles is the reason why you shop fast fashion here i have styled these jeans in three different tops in three different styles and aesthetics and they were all purchased secondhand and they are all super trendy. A lot of you also said that the reason why you shop fast fashion is because you want to try a bunch of different styles before you invest in them or, oh, no, no, no. Hello, I'm still here. 
or you're still exploring style or your style changes up very often me all the time i do not have one aesthetic i probably have five top aesthetics and they change constantly and this alone is the more reason why you should shop secondhand because if you do try on a bunch of different styles or you turn over your styles very often you buying that brand new garment has already made its environmental impact and even this top from this outfit right here this style is more trendy currently to this year of 2022 and 2023 is it not i actually thrifted this top on thread up for $10.99. Shopping secondhand doesn't mean that you're only finding vintage pieces or out of date styles. You are finding new styles. There have been countless times where I've had tags still on the clothes that I find on Thredda. Okay, the third reason why we still shop fast fashion is sizing. Size inclusivity, not many sustainable brands carry plus sizes, and their size fluctuates too often to invest in expensive clothes. This reason I completely understand. One follower said, no one makes cute, on-trend, sustainable clothing in plus sizes. It's fat phobia. And you know what? I actually agree. I'm not saying that it's fat phobia, but I do feel like more brands should be more size inclusive. It doesn't feel good to be left out at all. Like how how can anyone say that the only fashionable people out there wear a size extra small through large? Like that just doesn't make sense. However, I do understand the manufacturing side of things because that is what I went to school for. It is more convenient and financially efficient for a brand to make your typical sizes of extra small through large or small through extra large. Luckily, ThreadUp provides a wide range of sizes and if you do create an account, you can save your sizes so that when you do shop in the future, it automatically filters all those hundreds of clothes to your size. Now, if you are a girl's girl and you will be spending Valentine's Day with your besties, this is what I call a Galentine's baddie. This is head to toe in thread up and I found this outfit using the my sizes feature. Yes, this is also an outfit that will be on my thread up shop where you can shop similar items. A lot of my followers mentioned the lack of plus sizes in sustainable brands, forcing them to shop fast fashion for cute styles. So I thought it would be a good idea to show you some cute styles that I found on Threda that are super cute, super trendy, and are in plus sizes. So enjoy! All right, so reason number two, and we are getting to the good stuff here. Reason number two, it is fast, it is easy, it is accessible, it is convenient. Fast fashion brands have exactly what you're looking for in the size that you need. This is the second top reason why everyone still shops fast fashion, and I get it. Been there, done that. In December 2022, I bought these leg warmers on Amazon. I stopped shopping at the fast fashion website years ago but I think what people don't realize is that even though you're not directly shopping on these fast fashion websites if you buy a $20 dress on Amazon for two-day shipping where do you think that dress came from a fast fashion website of course so I'm just as guilty as you are when you say you give in to the convenience aspect of these websites especially if you're in a crunch and you need something like right now it's so convenient to shop at places where you can buy your face wash you can buy a tire for your car and you can buy a cute dress for the dinner tomorrow and you get it in what two days however I did place an order on ThreadUp on December 22nd and I got 80% of that order two days after two days two and i think half of that order was actually delivered on the 23rd the day after i placed the order to me that's pretty competitive knowing that you can shop sustainably and still get your clothes just as fast and then there was this comment it said fast fashion brands have exactly what you're looking for in the size that you need all right what i gotta say to that is unless you're looking for the 2001 spring versace ruched mesh gown unless you're finding something very very specific like that it is more than likely the item that you're looking for is floating around somewhere just waiting to be bought second half okay and if you are still shopping fast fashion for a black plain blazer in 2023 man do i not have any words for you the black blazer 
has stayed the same in design and silhouette for years and for decades. What makes you think that that $15 black blazer that you bought at this fast fashion website justifies you doing harm to the planet when you can buy it secondhand somewhere for probably better the quality and probably cheaper the price? Please make it make sense. I'm just saying. Unless that no, I'm not even gonna say an unless. You know, also, if we're talking about fast shipping, aren't some of the fast fashion websites that you all buy from, don't they take you like two to three weeks to even get delivered to you? I also have another example for you. Do you see these lean down, bedazzled western belts? These were so trendy early last year of 2022, and it was a popular trend that came, and just as fast as it came, it kind of quickly died out. I remember when they came back into style, I was like, oh, I remember these from long ago. I need these for my outfits. I need them right now because everyone is wearing them right now. And I kid you not, I had a couple of those lean belts in my Amazon cart and they were like 30 or $40 each. And it killed me because I knew that these belts were from past decades ago, probably floating around somewhere that I could find secondhand. But the reason why I wanted to buy them fast fashion was because they were accessible and they were easy and I could get them in two days just so I could wear it for an outfit. I actually ended up not even buying those belts for that exact reason because I knew I could find them secondhand somewhere and lo and behold look what happened I found this one on thread up and I love it so so much and then I found this cheetah one at a regular thrift store both of which were actually a lot cheaper than the ones that were in my Amazon cart I think thrifting something that you have been looking for for a really long time just makes the item more precious and you appreciate it a little bit more at least that is how it is for me this Valentine's Day outfit is more for the maximalist babes because it is a little you know out there. I don't know, there's just something about pink, red, and cheetah when put together is just just love it so much. But yeah, anyways, I digress. The moral of the story is that society has conditioned us to think that we need things right now, but we have to think, do we need it right now or do we want it right now? And if we don't get it right now, will it kill us? Clearly not, because I was able to go a whole season without even getting these belts. People have also mentioned that the reason why they like shopping fast fashion is that they don't have to leave their house. But you know what? I never have to leave my house when I shop thread up because I do it in the comfort of my bed at 4 a.m. But anyways, that is enough for this reason number two. I could go on and on about convenience to be honest, but we're not. We're gonna move on to number one. And the number one reason that you all have been waiting for, even though you already know the answer because half of you put it in my Instagram poll, the number one reason why we also shop fast fashion is it's affordable, it's cheap, people have lack of money, and sustainable brands are too expensive. But I totally understand, people are in different situations where sometimes fast fashion is the only option that they have. People just don't have disposable income to shop sustainable brands or buy whatever they want or they're college students that have a college budget. However, I know it's not like getting a $3 top or whatever, but Therda provides a lot of really cute styles and pieces for under $20. These are a few of my favorite ones that I have pulled and have found over the years that I have been shopping on Threda. so enjoy. Also, I noticed in the replies that I think there's this misconception of shopping sustainably. A lot of people think that in order to shop sustainably, you either have to shop at these rundown, old, dirty, stinky thrift stores, or you have to buy really expensive luxury items. And that is just not the case at all. In a nutshell, shopping sustainably just means putting the planet first and not contributing to the environmental crisis that we have currently going on. We all share the same home. I feel like we should all care about our home just as equally as the next person. Throwaway fashion culture has conditioned us to shop like, oh, let me just buy this top for $3. I don't care. It's just $3. Tries it on. Looks like a $3 top that is very cheap and doesn't fit well and has very cheap quality. And you're just like, eh, it's okay. Like, it didn't really cost that much. I'll just like donate it or throw it away or something. It was only $3. And that is how the majority of us think. We think that just because we donate it, that item is being taken care of. Out of sight, out of mind, and you know in the back of your head that that $3 top is not gonna last you more than two years. And then what happens to that top? It goes into landfill. 
it goes to the bin. It gets discarded. And that's what we're trying to prevent happening to our planet. And for you to just throw away a $3 top just because it was convenient for you, it's not fair. We're just adding to this big cycle of landfill and 32 billion pieces of clothing get discarded into landfills every single year. And that's only in the US. Obviously, donating is a better step than just throwing clothes into the bin and throwing them into landfills, but we have to realize, and I wish someone had told me this before when I was learning about all these things too, is that let's say I donate 10 pounds of clothes to the donation center. What do you think happens to those 10 pounds of clothes? It gets replaced in someone else's closet, but then in order to make room for those 10 pounds of clothes that they just inherited, they have to also get rid of 10 pounds of clothes. And so the cycle continues because those clothes get replaced and then get put into someone else's closet and then they donate their 10 pounds of clothes. You know, it's just a big, big cycle. And so at the end of the day, if you are donating 10 pounds of clothes, you are responsible for those 10 pounds of clothes that end up in landfill because eventually 10 pounds of clothes that have trickled their way out of other people's closets are now in landfill. So to help combat that, we just have to be mindful of buying what's already out there and not buying new things all the time. And this is one of my favorite outfits from Thought Up that I've put together. You all have seen this fuzzy heart top and I'm able to put it together in 10 million different outfits and I love that aspect of it. We have to start thinking of how we can reuse certain pieces of our wardrobe into different outfits. Anyways, this outfit I'm considering as kind of like a self-care, very casual outfit. And this one is, you know, if you plan to just spend it by yourself, especially if you're a single Pringle like me. So they're not a $3 top like you would find at a fast fashion site. They are good quality and none of these pieces were over $35 and I think that's pretty impressive. So that is it for my video. And to close out my video, I just want to ask this one last question. Since a lot of people said that fast fashion is all they could afford. Here it goes. Even when you're making money, and you will, I am manifesting it for you. Even when you're making disposable money and can afford high quality fashion, will you completely quit shopping fast fashion? Because I didn't, if I'm being completely honest. For some people, yes. But for me, even though I wasn't shopping directly on fast fashion websites, I still technically shopped fast fashion because I bought these leg warmers on Amazon because of the two day shipping. So let's be real, is affordability the real and only reason why we still do it? I have disposable income. I can sew my own sustainable clothes for crying out loud. And I'm really embarrassed and ashamed that I was so naive and careless and still bought fast fashion fashion even though I could afford slow fashion. I think for me the reason is because it's become a bad habit that has developed over the years of fast fashion culture and I think now it's just too hard to break. I have definitely made some unethical and unsustainable choices over the past few years. I mean you all have seen my YouTube journey where I would do all these fast fashion hauls and clothing hauls. But now we are making some changes and that's why in 2023 I am committed to breaking up with with fast fashion. This video was in no way to put anyone down or condemn them for still shopping fast fashion. Its intention was to educate others on the impact that fast fashion has and how we can do a little bit better for our planet. I understand that in reality, a lot of people just can't afford anything but fast fashion. Everyone has their reasons for doing so. Everyone is in different situations and in different chapters in their lives. I'm just here to encourage you to join me in this movement. But at the end of the day, a a lot of people on my Instagram poll said that they do want to stop shopping fast fashion less and they are thrifting more or they don't even shop fast fashion at all anymore. Thank you all for that. I think awareness is the number one thing here and I appreciate you all. To be honest, I might make a part two to this video because there are just so many reasons why people said that they shop fast fashion and I just have so much to say. As you can tell back there, I was so passionate. All I'm saying is please, please, please do not reject the idea of shopping sustainable first before resorting to buying fast fashion. Check first to see if your item is at an eco-friendly shop like ThreadUp and buy it secondhand or even revamp some of your old clothes in your wardrobe to give them new life. With that said, let's break up with fast fashion together and do better in 2023. Please join me in this movement and check out my ThreadUp shop by using the link below and use my code NAVA for an extra 35% off your first ThreadUp order. The planet will thank us and our wallets will thank us as well. Well, if you want to connect with me, all my socials are at the Nava Rose.
otherwise except for TikTok, which is at the dot Nava Road. Thank you all so much for just being on this whole fashion journey with me back then when I was doing these unsustainable hauls. And now while we are making more ethical and sustainable changes, so I appreciate you all for always being there and always being supportive. I love you all so much. And with that said, I will see you in my next video. Bye.